Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video here, I'm going to be going over how to torrent files from the command line. So before I start up, I just want to say that there are totally legitimate uses for torrents and I use it all the time. The best example that I can say people should be using torrents for is for downloading Linux releases. So here we see the Ubuntu 18.04.2 release page. Now there are tons of different ways you can get it. If you wanted to, you could download it directly from the website over HTTP, but that takes quite a bit of time and it costs canonical money if you want to save them money and if you want to download faster, you can always just grab the torrent and uh, that's what we're going to show you how to do. So go ahead and find yourself a torrent. If it's a, tor if it's a link to a torrent file, you can go click copy link location. If it's a magnet link, you can copy that. Basically, you just need the link to be able to paste it. From there, you need to go to my article that I wrote in the description of this video, learn how to install ARIA 2C, or ARIA 2, I guess you can call it, and then open up a terminal and then do quote, paste your link, end quote. This will instantly start downloading the torrent. And if I open up my file manager here, you're gonna see it pretty quickly. So we got Ubuntu desktop, should show up any minute now. I think it has to read the metadata, but uh, we are torrenting. Now, I mean, I'm not gonna let the whole thing download because I mean, I don't really have time to sit around for eight minutes. This is a short video, but as you can see, we are downloading a torrent and I'm just waiting for it to show up. I think it's downloading in my home folder. So if you see right here, this is the file that we're torrenting. And um, there's the torrent file, it uses it and it makes an ARIA2 file. And uh, I highly recommend this download tool. I don't use it all the time, but it can handle meta links, torrent files, HTTP, FTP, and uh, SFTP as well. But the useful thing about this is if you have a remote server of some kind, you can host this, you can seed stuff, so you can have an easy torrent server instead of having to deal with a lot of other stuff. You can also SSH in and torrent files that way. And it's actually pretty useful and you can do a bunch of different stuff with it. So if you aren't a fan of the graphical torrent clients, maybe you want something a little bit better, this is one I highly recommend. And this is how you can download files on Linux through a Torrent client in the terminal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a quick one, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.